Welcome to Starbase Pink. This is your daily space and SpaceX news. Today, Esros Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle C-55 launched successfully from Satish Dawan Space Center. This is liftoff. And we have confirmation of the satellite's precise injection into their intended 586 km circular orbit. We have another amazing slow motion footage of the liftoff moment of Starship. Elon reacts to the orbital launch mode damage after Starship first launch. He said, all that's left of the concrete lateral support beam is the rebar. Hopefully, this didn't grunk the launch mode. RGV aerial photography shares this aerial view of the water-cooled steel plates. I don't know if those will be used under the orbital launch mount as diverter or mounted flat on the ground. We will see. Elon said, three months ago, we started building a massive water-cooled steel plates to go under the launch mount. Wasn't ready in time and we wrongly thought based on static fire data that Fondag will make it through first launch. Looks like we can be ready to launch again in one, two, two months. And I don't think so. Maybe three to four months. They really need to find a permanently solution because if we count the time it takes for the full stack to start moving up after firing 33 engines at the moment of liftoff, it's about eight seconds and 13 seconds to move about 20 meters up. Later Elon said, still early in analysis, but the force of the engines when they throttled up may have shattered the concrete rather than simply eroding it. The engines were only at half thrust for the static fire test. After delivering more than 8200 pounds of supplies and science experiments in November, Northrop Grumman's Cygnus cargo spacecraft indoxed from the International Space Station. We have 550 second long duration hot fire test of YF 100k engine, they will use 7 of these engines to power the first stage and another 7 engines for boost boosters for the next generation crewed launch vehicle Long March 10. That's it for now, this is the end of this episode, see you tomorrow.